Good morning. Today we are, oh, let's try that again. Good morning. Today we are going to the corn maze with my best friend Kathleen and her two kids and her husband Joe. The great thing about the corn maze is it's on the way to the farm. So we're gonna pop by the farm, go to the corn maze, do all the fall things. It is like peak. It is like peak fall foliage here in Tennessee, which is our absolute favorite time of the year. Not only because it's fall, but also because why? Why is this our favorite time of the year? Birthday parties. No. What else? Close to, close to birthday parties. It's, it's, we're celebrating something, but what is it? Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> no. What else? Our wedding anniversary. There you go. Third, third time's a charm. Yeah, our anniversary's tomorrow. So that's the other reason why we love it so much. And in other news, I made delectable homemade potato cakes. Are they good? They look good. Is it burning? Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. There you go. Today's video is sponsored by our friends over at Jiffy Lube. The other day we had the opportunity to shadow a woman named Anne, and she was a volunteer with Mills on Wheels, and we got to see what a day looks like for her as she volunteers. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Thomas. Hi. Nice to meet you. So we definitely would like to kind of see what your day looks like. Okay. We sat down with Anne and she explained more about why she chooses to volunteer with Meals on Wheels, what she gets from it, and what volunteering means to her. I show up like around nine and they've got everything ready for me to go. There's like hot food and a um, hot food thing and cold food in a cooler. And then I've got a couple of boxes of frozen meals um, that I deliver to a few people. And so I just load everything up. They've got a route sheet. Just follow the route and deliver to everybody. And it's as simple and as they that. come back here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you develop a friendship with these people. You get to know them. Yeah, especially the people that I deliver the week, the whole week's worth of frozen meals to. We have some <laughs> strong bonds yeah. at this point. Yeah. <laughs> it's very fulfilling. Just having that check-in, even just once a week, I can really tell if something's going on. Mm -hmm. it makes me feel like I'm participating in, in sort of the community and society mm -hmm. in a way that um, feels good. During the morning that we spent with Anne, we got to ride around with her on a couple of her deliveries and just learn more about the Meals on Wheels program. Two million volunteers rely on their vehicles to serve Meals on Wheels and deliver meals to those in need. And Jiffy Lube is recognizing these individuals and helping them drive to do more through a partnership with Meals on Wheels America. The Meals on Wheels network of over 5,000 community-based senior nutrition programs is fueled by volunteers who deliver nutritious meals, friendly visits, and safety checks to more than 2.4 million homebound seniors annually. So Anne spends a lot of time in her car delivering meals to the elderly and obviously she's racking up miles and she's putting wear and tear on her car. So one thing that was really exciting for us was that we got to surprise Anne with a year's worth of vehicle maintenance services from Jiffy Lube to keep her on the road because 
Like I said, she is putting a lot of miles on her car and she spends a lot of time in her car. So just hearing her story and the reason behind why she chose to volunteer her time. Such a heartwarming experience to see that and, and hear her story. I was raised, like both of my grandmothers, especially the one that lives close here, has always done volunteer work. I was kind of taught that if you have extra to give, you should, you should. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and so time, like I have extra time. And so I feel like it's really important to um, use some of my time to sort of give give back to the community and engage in that kind of way and it feels amazing yeah. <laughs> if you are interested in donating to meals on wheels america visit your local jiffy lube during the month of october jiffy lube will be raising funds for meals on wheels as part of its strive to do more initiative Customers will be able to donate $1 or $3 at participating Jiffy Lube locations. We want to give a huge thank you to Jiffy Lube for sponsoring today's video. And if you want to learn more about Jiffy Lube and their Drive to Do More initiative, you can tap the link in our description below. Yeah, I like have a pumpkin on my face. So. And a big strawberry on your face. What happened? I felt. Did you try? <laughs> You're tough. I keep rubbing it, and it feels weird and it hurts. Yeah, it's like rough. I'm sure it looks like it hurts. I was like rubbing my forehead on the carpet. <laughs> okay. Like it's like a lot of. So it's a rug burn? Yeah, Ouch. I guess. But when I keep rubbing it, will mm -hmm. it get worse? Mm-hmm. It won't heal if you keep rubbing it. So today is our seven year wedding anniversary. Isn't that crazy? Insane. Insane. It is insane. Mm hmm Hold on one second. What's more insane to me is that we've had kids for three of those years. That's true. Almost half of the time that we've been married. But we've been together for how many years? For 12 years. So together for 12, married for seven. We got married in the living room of the house we were renovating. It was the first house we had ever bought together. At first we were planning like this big wedding with a bunch of people and we were gonna spend some money on it. And then we decided, or we'll, we asked ourselves, would we rather have a big wedding or would we rather have a new kitchen? We chose a big wedding. <laughs> I don't think our wedding could have been smaller. It was like 10 people and then we FaceTimed. Um, it was $150. I thought it was 125. So it was 150. We FaceTimed both of our sisters because they lived in different states. And then like Dixie was there, my mom, his mom, uh, my siblings, his sibling. We do have one regret about our wedding. Let's see if you know what it is. We wore flannels. <laughs> and we were also 15 minutes late. <laughs> We were late to our own wedding. We were working on the house that day, and after we were working, we had to drive to the house we were living in to get ready, and we were running late. Yeah. But overall, we always say every every year, there, other than like the flannels, there's not much else we would change about it. We really like the fact that we had a small wedding, because um, we feel like that money was better spent on the kitchen. And so, yeah, here we are seven years later. And I think we'd still probably spend the money on the kitchen. Maybe a little over a month ago, we did an interview with the Today Show on NBC and we spoke with Chenille Jones, who was so lovely and so wonderful. And this morning, it is airing. We don't know what it's gonna look like. And we have our moms here. They are watching it. PJ's mama may come over as well. 
Um, but yeah, we're excited to see what it looks like. I don't know. You wanna see us on the TV? Me and Daddy? Hopefully they did us, did us good, right? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We just saw the Bye. teaser for it. It was weird to see it on NBC. And it's coming up in just a minute. We all have our phones out recording. PJ just headed to the farm. Anna and I are at home. I am currently putting together some furniture for a fun collaboration that we're doing, but we did watch the Today Show segment and oh my goodness, it was so sweet. We both thought they did such a good job because we didn't know how it was gonna come together. You know, we did the interview just in our living room over Zoom when we talked to Chenille and it was about a 45 minute interview, 45 minutes to an hour. And we didn't know what they were gonna include. We didn't know what clips they were gonna use, what sound bites, but they compiled all of the clips themselves. Um, Kevin, a producer there at the Today Show, um, compiled all of them and gave us this opportunity. So thank you so much, Kevin. So incredibly grateful. We'll include the link down in the uh, description below if you want to check it out for yourselves. We were really happy with it. All right, so it is like the most beautiful fall day and I think that has inspired, actually no. What I'm gonna say is our house is a wreck. If you've been following for a while, you know that we had talked about hiring a housekeeper at one point. Things have only gotten busier this year and so our house because of that has fallen by the wayside. And so today it is one of those days where we have all of the doors open and PJ was feeling a bit overwhelmed. So we are going through the house and cleaning everything. We are moving furniture around and we are getting this house back together and back in shape. That also includes the outside as well. PJ hung some Halloween decorations as you can see and is going to town on the porch. Are you starting to feel less overwhelmed? He's also listing lots of furniture for sale. So we're getting rid of a bunch of stuff as well. Hopefully by the next time you see us in the next vlog, our house will be much cleaner. Another thing PJ did this morning was our mantle. So he put together the Halloween mantle. He does it every single year. This might be my favorite year. It's like a mixture of little tinctures and potion looking things and bugs and old portraits and I don't know I love it he's so good at that kind of stuff so anyways that is all for this vlog thank you so much for watching and we will see you next week